isn't he? He and Donna have been in the circus since it began. Has he ever taken a fall? Tony? Doesn't know the meaning of the word. Weekends. You could take me. They said we could join. I'll think about it, B. When you say you'll think about it, it usually means you'll forget about it. Can we join, please? B, will you stop pestering me? Hey, it's the guy from the show. We thought you were really good. I thought you were going to fly right off that road. Thanks. Glad I found you. Listen, sorry about before. Maybe I was a bit out of line. I tend to get a bit tense before the clouds me. It's a bit scary up there, huh? Yeah, it requires a fair bit of concentration. Hey, Donna tells me you're a surfer. Yeah. Oh, he used to be. Don't get him started on surfing. He'll talk your ears off. It gets really boring after the first hour. Hey, Craig, wait. B, don't go away. We're going. Maybe you can teach me sometime. Surfing? In this place? Sure, why not? Well, maybe I'm just a, a stupid city kid, but I think we're missing the one essential ingredient. Nah, you just got to know where to look. We've got a dam here that releases a bulk load of water every week. Dam on a river. I'm talking about waves a metre high, sometimes even more. That runs the river whenever we open the sluice gates. You have me on. No, there's a whole bunch of guys that ride the thing. Well, how come you don't? I've always wanted to learn, but uh, I'm not a very strong swimmer. Hey, Craig, you've seen the river runners, haven't you? You bet. And I'm going to be up there too one day. I'm going to set the record for the longest ride. Thought I might let you know. Might help break the ice around here. Hey, thanks. Come on, B, we're going. Great work, Craig. Has it got double chocolate and ice cream? That was the deal. I do what you say, and you cough up with a free milkshake. One day, Craig, you're going to explode into a million fat cells. Hey, Carmen, can you feel in for me? Just for an hour, OK? I always feel in for you. I feel in for you so much that my roster's starting to look like your roster. Please, I'll make it up to you, I promise. Time and a half. Deal. Thanks, sis. And two OJs for table two? A three-month anniversary is a very important milestone. I have to know what to wear. These things take time to prepare, you know. I'm not going to spy on Tony. Unless he's forgotten, in which case you can order him a body bag. Don't worry, he hasn't forgotten. So you do know? Come on, spill the beans. That's what friends are for. But it'll spoil the surprise. I've got to go. But I can still look surprised, see? <laughs> Sorry, I promised Phoebe some pamphlets about the service. Oh, really? And what would that look be exactly? This would be my, mmm, Phoebe. Little sister of good-looking Luke look. Oh, you are such a gal. I'm out of here. Moo. I reckon we should just go down to training. See what they do down there. It's not going to hurt to have a look. <sighs> Can't do, B. Where are you going? The river to catch a wave. Things are looking up in this town. <laughs> Promise me you'll stay here. OK, but there's no surfing. Why, Emma? So how big are the waves? The size varies all the time, but they reckon there's going to be a major release. There's been a drought, you see, so the farmers downstream, they're screaming for water. It should be huge. So what does that mean? I mean, how big do you reckon it's going to get? Well, you see those rocks up there? That's how high it can get, and you'll hear it before you see it. If you're worried, we could always give it a miss, you know, check it out first. He says I'm worried. Watch and learn, circus boy. I'll race you downstream. Those little creatures, aren't they? Charlie, hi. Yeah, I found him in the laundry. Got your circus stuff. Tells you all about us. I don't think it's going to do much good. Luke doesn't want to join. Thanks anyway. Hey, maybe you could convince him. He likes you. He does, really. Well, I suppose I could try if you think it'd do any good. See you around? No, he took off with his surfboard. I think he must be going mad. <laughs> Country life must be getting to him. He said something about catching a wave. A wave? Here? Are you sure? Luke doesn't joke about waves. Maybe I've changed my mind. No, it happens every week. Hang on, shut up a sec. Yeah, I can hear it. It's coming. Get ready. Come on, you 
guys, hurry. Okay, you guys ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Welcome to Wyama. I might have known you'd be behind this. You are such a dropkick. Hey, a true master. We should be trying to make him feel welcome. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, nice one, mate. <laughs> Good ways out there, or what? Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Just the dumb city kid who got sucked in. You're in it too, weren't you, Craig? Sorry, Luke. <laughs> You'll keep. Come on. The city boys have to grow a sense of humour. Maybe you should grow a brain. Oh. <laughs> no, nothing. I'm not joining the circus. Yes, hello. Well, when will that be? Well, I suppose so. Why are you such a grunt this morning? That's because some stupid little noisy insect kept me awake all night. And when I find it, I'll it's be dead. in the car, Mum. <laughs> well, it's fantastic. Fabulous present. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. When are you picking me up? Friday, 7 o'clock. You guys actually get a okay, band through here? Yeah, we're well, not that isolated. A couple of Sydney bands. Tony's really gone all out to impress for the big anniversary. Even booked a limo. Is that right? There can be a decent human being when you really try. You know, we start training next week. Maybe you Don't should Don't tell me. Phoebe got to you too. No way. I know my sister, a little rat. She's so persistent. Won't you at least consider it? Ah, Mr. Mason, I presume. I don't believe this. What kind of business are these people running? They were supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. Maybe you got the times mixed up. Maybe you booked the car for eight. Dad, I know the difference between a seven and an eight. And I booked for seven. I'm still on hold. What? It must be the concept. Taxis are the same. Well, keep trying. We missed the start now. Well, don't worry about it. It will just be the boring support act. There is no support act. That's the point. Hey, hang on, it's ringing. Hello? Hey, give me that. Hello, this is Tony Perez. Where are you guys? You're supposed to be here. P-E-R-E-Z. What do you mean? Why would I do that for? Well, can you send another one? Fine, don't worry about it. Can you believe those idiots? They reckon someone cancelled it. For the next show, Jerry, I reckon we should have propeller-driven rollerblades or jet-powered or rockets. I don't want to hear the words jet-propelled or jet-powered. And as for the word rocket... Good night, Jerry. Boy, I bet Einstein never had this much trouble. So what do you think? Do you like it? Wow. Mum, uh. is Donna getting married? And if she is, can I have a room? <laughs> what do you think, Mum? Isn't it great? It, it's very... Uh, I'll get it. Uh, is, is that all there is to that dress, or is there more? It's a skirt, Dad. I'd call it a work in progress. Listen, sorry I'm late. There's been a bit of confusion with the limo. Wow. You look great. Mm-hmm. Uh, so how would you feel about a bike ride? I am not going to a concert on a push bike. Forget it, no way, I mean, look at me. Well, maybe you can chuck on some old jeans or something. <laughs> what? I'll drive you. Just let me get the keys. Thanks, Mrs J. I don't get it. I put that limo ages ago. It's gonna be my surprise. The only people that knew were me and Charlie. And? And guess who? You're sure you will be here? The removalist this afternoon about four? Yeah, fine, Mum. I'll be here. Anything to get out of these clothes. Too bad we didn't join the circus or else we'd be at training and there'd be no one here to meet them. Knock it off, P. Mm -hmm. Now, you'll call me if there are any changes, right? Bye. Right? It's all settled. Good. Maybe I should cancel my appointments. Can you stop stressing? It's all right. Just go to work. I'll call you if there's any problems. I know you miss your friends. But I really appreciate the effort you're making. It'll just take a bit of time. Call me later? Mm-hmm. Okay, bye. See ya. <gasps> bye. Mwah. See you. What are you scowling at? Hey, 
I think we need to have a little talk about the concert on Friday. <laughs> hey, how was it? Yeah, we missed the first hour thanks to you. Tony, cut it out, will you? What's the matter with you? Hot shot here cancelled the limo. Don't be stupid. Hey, you country guy should develop a sense of humour. How could you do that? Oh, come on, Charlie. This turkey's been on my back since I arrived. Yeah, well, you better get used to it. Cut it out! Make me. Stop it, guys! You want to settle this? What have you got in mind? That's enough, the pair of you. Now, you boys have just earned yourself an appointment with me after school. Don't test me. Luke! Conflict resolution. Something you both need to work on. I think about 500 words should do it. What? Luke, you'll do fine here as long as you fly straight and narrow. You follow me? Yes, sir. It's just what I intend to do. And, Tony, you're in your senior years now. And might I remind you that the circus is an extracurricular activity? It is not part of the curriculum? Now, whatever's troubling you boys, sort it out. I will not have it brought into this school. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. Good. Get on with it. You want to sort this out? Name the time and place. Funny how train tracks can go forever and never cross. Never manage to get in each other's way. Your point being? My point being that one train track is just a long lump of steel without the other. And that you and Tony might actually get along if you tried to sort things out rather than fight one another. Hey, I didn't start it, remember? He did. Yeah, but you could have ignored him. Donna was really looking forward to that concert. It's a rotten thing to do. Yeah, well, maybe in a week or two you won't have to put up with me anymore. What? Because I'll be out of here. So your mum moves here, she buys a house, and three weeks later you all up and leave again? Sounds like wishful thinking to me. Maybe I'll go back on my own. I can always stay with my dad. And what about Phoebe? How's she going to feel about that? She'll cope. Wouldn't it be a whole lot easier if you just tried to settle down a bit? Maybe come to training? Run away and join the circus? Phoebe put you up to this, didn't she? I know you'd like it if you'd just give it a go. It'd be the perfect place to sort things out with Tony. Look, the guy's just going to keep needling me. And the fight's going to solve it, is it? It's all set up. Can't back out now. Nah, I wouldn't want to look like a dog, would we? Hey, lighten up. Don't worry about me. I'll wipe the floor with you. And what makes you think I'm worried about you? Well, you are, aren't you? No, I'm not. I think it's dumb. I think you and Tony are behaving like a pair of idiots. Charlie, wait up. Come on, it's not what you think, honest. 